In today's video, I'm going to show you how we can use NITN automations directly inside of Loverbird. For example, let's say you have created a complex NITN workflow and now you want to add a nice UI to it or let's say integrate this exact same NITN automation into an app or website that you're building. Well, you can now do that and that is exactly what I'm going to show you in today's video. So here I have opened up Loverbird and also NITN. So I have a Loverbird account, so I have logged into the same and here I have opened up a new instance of N18 as well. And again, as for using N18, you have multiple options. So if you want to, you can directly head over to let's say N18.io and then go ahead and sign up for in your account and start using it. And again, for using N18 directly via N18.io, you will have to pay at least 20 euros per month and even then you have all these limits. But if you're looking for an affordable way to use N8, well, you can click the link in the description below and head over to Hostinger and easily self-host and use N8 in just a single click. For example, if I click on services, as you can see, here we have self-hosted N8. So I'll click on the same and I can click on choose plan. And as you can see, the lowest plan starts at just 399 rupees per month. And even then you get unlimited workflows, unlimited concurrent executions, etc. So for example, in this case, let's just say I'm going with this KVM2 plan. So I can click on choose plan. And now here I'm in the checkout page. And if you use the coupon that is Astro, you will get instant 10% discount. So there you go, instant 10% discount added. Or if you're about to go for, let's say 24 months period, then you can use the coupon that is Astro 15 to get extra 15% discount. So there you go, the same discount is applied in here. And after that, you can select a server location that is closest to you. And again, also make sure to select N8 as the operating system. And you can go ahead and complete the purchase. And next up here, I logged into my HPanel account and I can find my VPS in here. I can click on this manage button and then click on this manage app option right here. And again, for the first time when you click on this link, you'll be shown an option to create a master admin account for your self-hosted version of N8. And just like that, you have successfully self-hosted N8. And again, I'll click on this create workflow option right here. And now the goal of today's video is to show you how we can use Loverbird and N8. So basically we'll be creating some sort of workflow or automation in N8. And then we will use Loverbird to build an app around it, or let's say give nice UI to some automation that you built. And to keep things simple, and also fast, here I went ahead and gave a prompt to Loverbird asking it to create this landing page right here. So basically, let's just say I'm creating a startup idea validator, an AI powered startup idea validator. So the users are given the option to enter their startup idea in this text box right here. And after that, they can click on this analyze idea button and our AI will analyze the idea and give its honest thought. Like, so that's basically what we are trying to build. And I just went ahead and gave a simple prompt to Loverbird to create like the UI part of our website and this right here is the UI and maybe I can open it up in a new tab and as you can see this right here is the UI and again it is not functional so we haven't really added any functionality yet right and next up to make our app functional we are planning to use our N8 automation so here I have opened up N8 and again, in this video, I just want to keep things simple and also show you how this whole thing works. But in your case, depending on exactly what you're trying to build, you can create a complex app or a complex workflow and take it up from there. So in this case, first of all, we'll start with a webhook. So basically webhook, if I add a webhook, as you can see, it gives me a endpoint URL and I can copy this URL and I can paste the same into Loverbird and ask Loverbird to let's say send a post request. So basically it can use it as an API. And that is exactly what we are planning to use to connect N8 to Loverbird. So here we have a webhook and next step, I can maybe let's say add a AI. For example, let's say open AI, message a model. Okay, so I have already added my open AI API key. So the same is added in here. And resource text looks good. As for the model, Okay, let's try, I'll keep it simple. Let's say GPT 4.1 mini. If you want to, let's say use GPT 5 or any other model, you can totally do that. And next up here we have the messages and I need to fill a prompt in here. First of all, I'll switch it to expression mode and maybe let's say open it up. And after that, I'll paste the expression in here. So basically for the time being, this right here is simple text, but it will all make sense just in a moment. And before I add, let's say the respond to webhook node, I'll try to use it so I can open webhook and let's say set the method as post and then I can copy this link right here. And next up here, I have opened up the Rackbin website and I'll paste our uh, webhook URL. So this right here is the URL and we can go ahead and try to send a sample request. 
and in the body let's just say oops i can say idea and some random idea right random idea and if i head back and if i click on this option right here that says listen for test event and now if i click on send let's see okay so it says workflow has started and as you can see we have got our request in here so i'll try to pin the data and the one that we want is this one right here that says idea and again here we have random idea right and next up we need to send this idea or whatever idea that the user entered into this particular node right here so i can open that up and if i as you can see here we have the output of the previous node and now i can simply drag and drop the idea part maybe i can okay there you go here we have a section that says here's the startup idea and now i'll simply drag and drop the same in here okay and maybe i can open it up there you go here we have our expression so this right here is the master prompt and towards the end i just give our idea whatever idea that the user entered and it says you are an expert startup consultant and venture capitalist with 20 years of experience in market entry strategy and product market fit your goal is to provide a brutally honest analysis of startup ideas and they just went ahead and mentioned what exactly you need to analyze or let's say the ai need to analyze and that's also done and next step i need to add a respond to webhook node so here we have respond to webhook but before that i'll open the first node and in the response section i'll just say using respond to webhook node right and after that in respond to webhook i can simply select this option right here that says json and i'll paste this expression right here so basically if i try to let's say execute this step right here it will send this one that is random idea to ai and it will give its analysis so let's wait for it and there you go here i have the output and maybe i can pin that as well and basically what i'm doing is that I get this text area right here. Next up, I can simply drag and drop this text part right here. And since it is JSON, I don't want to break the JSON structure. And for the same reason, I'm just stringifying it. And again, I'm just speed running this entire process because that's not the main point. So I'm just creating a very simple and basic, uh, you know, automation just as to showcase how this whole thing works. And just like that, a very simple and basic N8 and automation is ready. And now I can click on execute workflow. And as you can see, it says waiting for you to call the test URL. I can open Rugbin and let's just say an AI powered dating app. Why not, right? And I can click on send. Okay, there you go. As you can see, our automation has started working. Uh, it is currently using AI to analyze our startup idea and we will get a response back. There you go. It says workflow executed successfully. And okay, the response, we got the response and it must be sent. So there you go this right here is the body of the response and our basic automation that we created using n is working and again this right here is a very simple and basic one but depending on exactly what you're trying to accomplish you can create a much more detailed and complex one and next step i'll open lovable okay so this right here is the app that i've been working on right next step i can simply let's say copy the url of our webhook and i'll paste the same in here and next up, I can say the above given is the API endpoint to which we need to make a request with the idea that the user enters and the webhook or let's say the API will respond back with the analysis result and we need to neatly display the same in our app. Okay, and maybe I can just go ahead and say input format is going to be let's say I can just enter the same in here basically a JSON which says idea the idea user entered goes in here so basically i'm just helping the ai here so this right here is the format that the ai has to send a request and again the output format is going to be maybe i can copy this body from here and let's just say the below given is the output format okay i just pasted the entire stuff and now all I have to do is to click on this send button right here and let's wait for it. And it says I'll integrate the API endpoint to fetch real analysis result. First, let me check the current index.tsx structure. Okay. So basically what I did is that I just went ahead and copied our N8 and automation webhook URL and pasted the same in here. And then I asked Lauber to modify our app such that it actually makes a post request to this particular API endpoint. 
and all it has to do is to pass the idea that the user enters. So whatever idea that the user enters in here, it has to pass it to this API endpoint, basically make a post request. And then I used this output. So I just basically copied this output, format the entire message. And I just went ahead and told Lovable that this right here is going to be the response format. So you can neatly organize and let's say make the app functional. And there you go, it says done. The app now calls your N8 and webhook with the startup idea and displays the markdown analysis response in a styled card format. Okay, seems like that's done. And maybe I can uh, refresh. Uh, okay, seems like we have a problem in here. So I'm unable to enter any text in this input area. And also the button is grayed out. So I can go and say the input text box and also the buttons are not working. They are grayed out and I'm unable to enter any startup idea or click the analyze idea button and let's hit enter. So let's just wait for Lovable to fix this one. And after that, we can go ahead and test the functionality of the app and see if everything works. All right, so there you go. The error is now fixed and I'm able to enter my startup idea in here. And as soon as I enter text, the button becomes uh, clickable. And next step, all I have to do is to head back to our automation. And all I have to do is to click on this execute workflow button right here. And next up, I can enter my startup idea in here and click on analyze idea and hopefully everything will work. So let's just see. I'm thinking of creating a AI powered influencer marketing platform, helping creators and brands connect for sponsorships and brand deals. All right, looks good. I can click on analyze idea. And there you go. As soon as I click on this analyze idea button right here within Lovable, like the app that we built, it instantly sends a API request to our N8 and automation and the webhook captured the same and now it is processing the idea that we gave using AI and there you go the response is sent back and if I go ahead there you go it says analysis complete and here's what we found a comprehensive analysis of your startup idea and as you can see everything is properly formatted and the primary functionality or exactly what we are trying to achieve has been successfully done so it says certainly here's the brutally honest assessment of the AI powered influencer marketing platform idea so the hard truth critic this is largely a vitamin rather than a pain killer. So influencer marketing platforms are crowded space filled with dozens of established players, some with AI features already baked in such as Aspire, Upfluence, and even marketplaces like TikTok, Creator Marketplace, or Instagram's branded content tools. And as you can see, here we have like a pretty elaborate and detailed output that the AI has given us after analyzing the idea that we passed. And I can toggle it on. So I can just say execute and now if I let's say refresh our app and maybe let's just go ahead and give a different kind of a, a prompt an online e-commerce platform that delivers whatever product that the user orders in less than 30 minutes and as you can see our automation is not running and now I'll click on analyze idea it is analyzing and our automation is in action so let's wait okay it is successful and if I open our app, there you go. The analysis is complete and the idea pitched as a painkiller, instant gratification and convenience solve a real problem. Well capitalized giants like Amazon Prime Now, DoorDash, Instacart. Here we can find a detailed study, right? So as you saw, this is how simple it is to use N8 and right inside of Lovable. So after you create a pretty complex and, you know, let's say a very big N8 and automation, and let's just say you want to add a nice UI and if you want to, let's say, turn it into a website or app, well, this is exactly all that you'll have to do. So just for demonstration purpose, here I created a very simple NIT and automation and added the same to Lovable and again integrated the same into our app, okay? And yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you in today's video. So just like that, we created a NIT and automation, integrated the same into an app that we are building using Lovable. And not just Lovable, it works pretty well with almost all other AI coding tools out there. Whether you're creating an app in Bolt.new, Andy Gravity Cursor or whatever uh, platform you're using, it doesn't matter. As long as you can get this webhook URL right here and also request an output format, that's all the details that you need. You can pass all this information into whatever AI coding tool that you're using and you can ask the AI to integrate that automation into the app that you're building and it should be done in no time. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If yes, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.